Hi, my name's Drax Looks at Life, and you might be wondering how I ended up sat by the side of the road with a packet of quavers and a silver play button. Well, inspired by one of my favourite online games on my favourite geography YouTuber, I decided to play GeoGuessr in real life. The aim of GeoGuessr is simple. You spawn in a random location somewhere on Google Street View, and it's your job to work out exactly where in the world you are. So in order to play in real life, my lovely girlfriend Becky would have to blindfold me and drive me for several hours to a random location in the UK, escort me out of the vehicle to my start point completely blindfolded, and then drive off, leaving me completely alone to fend for myself and work out where the bloody hell in the UK I've ended up. This is a big project, we're sponsored by Honey, thank you so much. Can I work out exactly where I am? Let's find out. Right, am I good then? You good. Cool, do you want to give me the camera? Oh, hello. Thanks Becky, see you later. Love you too, bye. Okay, I'm going to sit for a couple of minutes so that Becky has time to drive off. I can hear like... A cyclist went past me, I can hear a dog, so I'm assuming I'm near some houses, but I think I'm somewhere rural. Oh man, there could be so many people just stood right next to me. Oh, something's gone past. So you guys have got a bit of a clue here, whereas I, I still have no idea, really. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, I think. This is it. Jesus. <laughs> really weird now that I'm actually doing it. So we are on. Main Street. And thus our journey began. We'd made it to our spawn point, which was a triangular shaped mini roundabout somewhere deep within the English countryside. I immediately spotted a post box, which would be great for clues, and also spread throughout the houses were some wheelie bins, which would hopefully display on them which county council they are from. This is so surreal now I'm actually doing it. But the difference to real life and GeoGuessr is we can get so much closer to stuff. So I wouldn't normally be able to read anything on this sign. Okay, we are in or near Marketplace Oakham, but I do not know where Oakham is. Main Street, Oakham. That's some good clues. We've got a tractor. We're somewhere really, really rural. So I think let's just walk down here, see what we come to. Oh, we're at a church. We are at a church. Eggleton. It says Eggleton on that sign. So basically, Eggleton tells us where we are. <laughs> okay. Let me go through my supplies, what I've brought with me. We've obviously got lots of essential items. We've got the YouTube bag, we've got the YouTube chair. We've got a sandwich I bought from Greg's. We've got an umbrella just in case things start getting soggy. But most importantly, for good luck, I have brought the Jack Sucks at Geography play button. <laughs> this thing will guide me to the correct place, okay? It's gonna be fine, don't worry guys. But what do we know? We know basically that we're in a village called Eggleton and Eggleton is within the boundaries of Rutland City Council and also near somewhere called Oakham because that's where the post office is. But having all the names of these places isn't that useful because I still don't know which county we're in. So I'm gonna have a drink and I think it's time to get packed up and be on our way. And so I repacked my cheese and onion sandwich, psyched myself up for adventure, and decided, hey, let's have a look around the church. And then I concluded there wasn't really much to it. That's it. I'll, I'll, I'll go now. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw a police car and worried that an elderly resident had reported to Eggleton's local pawpaw -paw office that there was a suspicious individual wandering the streets admiring people's wheelie bins. So I decided to return to the spawn point. Unfortunately, unlike GeoGuessr, I can't just click return to spawn. I do actually have to walk there myself. There it is, our spawn location. That triangle. So we've just come from down there. We've not yet been up there, but I am intrigued by down here. Oh, and I think this is the right move because there is a sign at the bottom of the road as well. Edmund House, very nice. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bird watching center and ducks. Well, let's go this way then. Forget Geo, guys, so let's go look at the ducks. Welcome to Rutland Water, Eggleton. Still no new words. We know where we are, but we don't know where Eggleton is. We need to know which part of the map we need to zoom in on. Oh, we might have a clue. I'm gonna run because I'm excited. This is me running. Look, Rutland Water Nature Reserve. But see that, that's a postcode. Leicester. Maybe. And we're at a car park, so there's something worth looking at here. Please purchase a permit before entering the nature reserve. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Leicestershire. Oh. Hi. We're interacting with the locals. Okay, I don't think I can go in without my permit. But I have made it to the tree sparrow hide. I did not think we'd be doing bird watching. I'm keeping my voice down. I don't want to scare any birds. Are there any green finches out there? Maybe some great tits, I'd love to see those. <laughs> I might just have a little sit down, see if we can see any birds. 
<laughs> so I ended up residing at Eggleton's birdwatching centre for a good 20 minutes or so, desperately trying to spot a couple of great tits. But unfortunately, I didn't really spot anything at all. And then after a little while, some birdwatching enthusiasts started turning up. Before I knew it, there were three of them surrounding me and I felt outnumbered and in danger. I'm sure they could smell the fact I didn't have a permit. So I decided to make a run for it. They started looking at me, a, a woman did this. And then I was like, oh my god, I need to go. We don't have a permit. We have no right to be here. Oh my god, the police will be coming. We need to get the hell out of here. There is actually a bird of there. Yeah, it looked dreadful on the camera, but that's a cool bird. Look at that. And I just saw that without a permit. Your move, Eggleton Bird Watching Society. <laughs> I kept exploring further down the road, got some nice cinematic shots, saw a cat that wanted nothing to do with me, found a sign hoping it would give me some new, much needed information. It did not give me any new, much needed information. But not to worry, we were still making fantastic progress. And before we continue, here's a word from the sponsor that made this video possible. Thank you, Honey, so much for supporting the channel so many times this year. If you don't know what Honey is, basically it is a free browser extension which will automatically save you money when you're shopping online. I got this face mask, which is really boring. There's not much on it, it's just black. So I suddenly had this idea, what if I put my profile picture onto a face mask. So I found a website that does custom face masks. Let's go ahead and upload my face. Get it adjusted into the correct place. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that should work, maybe. <laughs> oh, but what's this? Because I've got honey installed, this dancer little fella pops up and he says he's found us 10 coupons. Let's apply them. Honey is now applying all 10 coupons that it has found automatically without me having to do anything. Oh, and before you know it, I've just saved £4. It was going to cost me £11.98. Now it's only going to cost me £7.98. I can't wait for it to arrive. I'll put a picture on Twitter when it does. Honey works on 30,000 different stores and the people that have used Honey with my link over the last year have saved in total <laughs> $100,000 which is mental. So if you want to install Honey for yourself, it's so simple. Just head to joinhoney.com slash jack. You can install it for free with two clicks. Just start by pressing add Honey. Thanks, Honey, for sponsoring the video. Anyway, where the bloody hell are we? Back to GeoGuessr. All right, I walked all the way there and it was a dead end. So I would quite like to return to the spawn point. So we're going to use the magic of editing, all right? So I'm going to jump and then we'll be back there. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's way easier. There's busy traffic over there. That's where I'd like to try and head to. Why am I back at the church? We're back at the church. <laughs> right, we're going to sit by the church and we are going to try and have a little look in the map. Hi. If we happen to find the village, we can make our guess. So, GeoGuessr IRL, here it is. Oh my god, here it is, here it is. <laughs> so we know that says Main Street, but on maps that's completely blurred out. Oh, look at our little village. That's weird. Look, it's our post office and we can read that. We can read that sign. That told us we were in Orkham. I'm not even 100% sure where Leicestershire is. thought it was near Lincoln, but... <laughs> oh, no. No, that's Lincolnshire. Oh, my God. So where's Leicestershire? I don't know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the panic was starting to set in. I could already see the comments making fun of me because I didn't know the difference between Lincolnshire and Leicestershire. I also knew it'd been a while since Becky dropped me off and there's only so much time she can spend in a nearby garden center. So I set out on a quest, a quest to go further than I'd ever been before. It was time to leave the safe, comforting boundaries of Eggleton and chase the sound of that noisy main road in the hope that it would have a sign pointing to a big place that I recognized. Yes, yes, look at this, so. Busy roads that I've been wittering on about. And then you probably can't see, but all the way over there, there's a kind of a big housing state. So we're definitely somewhere notable. I'm hoping that at the end of this junction, there's gonna be some fantastic signs which have a bunch of place names on. And then that's the final piece in our jigsaw. This is all we need. Yes, 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 I see green signs. I see green signs. We're running, we're running, come on. Of course, I was not playing on any sort of time limit, so I don't know exactly why I suddenly had the urge to start running. Perhaps I was simply overjoyed that my adventure was finally coming to a conclusion, and a 5,000 point perfect GeoGuessr score was just a few meters away from me. Oh, there it is. So you can see we've got Orkham, which we already knew, but also Uppingham and the A6003. This is where we've come from. You remember the bird watching center all too well, I'm sure. Using the name of the road, I was able to massively narrow down which area of the UK I was in. And finally, I was able to find Leicestershire on the map. All right, we can go back into the village now proudly with our heads held high with this new insight, Uppington. Uppingham? Upsington. I wrote it down in my notes, don't worry. <laughs> I also wrote down the road name as well so that we can kind of search for that because that's always really, really handy. I still need a wee though. So I think I'm I'm gonna have to have a wee down here. I did it, I did it. I didn't film it because I thought that'd be weird. But um guys, if you live local, Jack sucks at life, 
He peed right there in that corner. So definitely come and stand there, get a photo in front of it. Who knew? Only five minutes prior, I was filming that beautiful tree. And five minutes later, I'm pissing beneath it. <laughs> so of course we return to the beautiful quaint English village that is Eggleton. Egg Eggstleton. What what is it? Oh yay! Whoa! Eggleston, I'm here! <laughs> but in the shadow of the bird watching sign, I set my camera back up on a nearby fence so I could dive straight back into the map with our newly discovered info. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I've just gone onto the map and I've literally just seen Orkham straight away. So we don't even need to be able to see Uppingham, which is right there, but yeah. There it is. Eggleton. Easy. And it's such a tiny, tiny village. So we found Orkham. We found the roads, you can see there's the A6003, Rutland Water Golf Club. It's perfect, we found it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see how long it takes me to find, yeah. <laughs> it's quite easy because there's three streets in the whole of this village. <laughs> we've been to all of these places. We've been to the church, we've been to the, the bird watching center. So we were on Main Street, there it is. There's our triangle. That's us, right there, we've done it. You know what? I think we need to guess while we're stood on the triangle. It's just down the road. Let's go. I'm so glad we found it. So where even are we? I'll sit you here for a second. Please don't fall in the river. So zooming out, we are, we're between Leicester and Peterborough. Honestly, bit embarrassing perhaps, but I didn't really know where Leicester was. Hey guys, guys, what's this sign say? Church Road? Oh, what's that? Church Road. This is so weird. This is what I do in GeoGuessr. I follow down the road and see if the signs match up. This is amazing. It's funny because we found a lot of information quickly. So I had all of the names and the addresses, but I just didn't know where to zoom in. There it is. Our faithful post box, our telephone box, and of course our wonderful triangular part of the road. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Find our little triangle. Click right there. So let's go stand there IRL, and then we'll click guess. <laughs> Okay, we're in the road. This is it. Three, two, one. This better be 5,000 points. Guess. 5,000 points. Your guess was five yards from the correct location. So I think instead of here, we were actually here. <laughs> well, now what do I do? Becky? <laughs> we did it, we found our spot, so. I guess now I'll ring Becky and she can come and pick us up. <laughs> so I gave Becky a ring. She was very excited to hear that I'd got a perfect score. Hey. And while I waited to be picked up, I of course celebrated my victory with a Greg's meal deal. I even said hello to some locals and politely laughed at a joke which didn't make sense. Hi. Hi. Going for lunch? <laughs> yeah. Going for lunch? How am I going for lunch? I'm already eating lunch. I'm not going for lunch, I'm eating lunch. Then Becky picked me up and she disclosed the entire reason she picked this village was because it is home to one of the largest lakes in the UK. And while I was at the bird watching centre, I was only a few metres away and I had absolutely no idea. But that's it, we did it. It was so much fun and I would love to do this again. So if you want to see that, leave a like. If we get, you know, 100,000 likes on this video, Absolutely. This entire video was actually part of a challenge that I'm doing with Mr. Beast, where I'm trying to get a channel with no videos to 1 million subscribers. So GeoGuessr IRL was the forfeit for 600k. If I manage to get to 700k, I'll have to dye my hair pink, which I'm really not looking forward to. So if you want to see that, subscribe to Don't Subscribe. The link is in the description. Also, of course, subscribe to Jack Sucks at Life. I really want to do this again. Thank you so much to Becky for choosing the location and driving me there and waiting while I wandered about for an hour and a half. <laughs> Thanks, honey, for sponsoring the video as well. And yeah, have a happy new year. I'll see you in 2021.